these chemistry modules will always be encountered. Organic chemistry is the most important subject in your biotechnology degree program. We talked about what to expect from biotechnology with regards to chemistry and we also talked about why and how chemistry is important. But in this video, we'll talk about the five most common chemistry subjects and their individual topics that are almost always programmed into the bachelor's degree for biotechnology. And this is concluded from my own bachelor's degree program and from some other universities from the US, UK and the EU, which I looked into. You can also watch the video on the structure of biotechnology bachelor's degree program in the US right here. Biotechnology bachelor's degree program typically includes a combination of chemistry subjects and topics that are relevant to the field of biotechnology. While the specific courses may be different from one another depending on the universities and the field of biotechnology that your course is focused on, there are some common subjects and topics which we as biotechnologists always have to counter. And these include the following five chemistry subjects. This introductory course covers the fundamental concepts in chemistry, including the atomic structures, chemical bonding, inorganic stoichiometry, energetics, which also closely related to thermodynamics of reactions, and basic chemical reactions. So basically, this subject is mainly focused on periodic table and the basic characteristics of elements. On number two, we have the organic chemistry. Organic chemistry, as we all know, is focused on the structure, properties, composition, energetics, chemical reactions, and synthesis of organic compounds. It is particularly important in biotechnology as many biological processes and molecules involve organic compounds. Basic organic chemistry is also very important for modules like biochemistry, gene technology, enzyme technology, and many other modules. Topics like chemical equilibrium in organic reactions, functional groups like aldehydes, alcohols, ketones, and acid-based reactions, alkanes and alkenes, types of chemical reactions like addition, elimination, and etc. And aroma chemistry, along with some other topics, are the key points or key topics in almost every biotechnology program. Organic chemistry is one of the most important subjects, if not the most important subject in your biotechnology degree program. That's why it is safe to say that it is really important that you develop a basic understanding of organic chemistry, especially the topics that I just mentioned before or during your studies in biotechnology. And I strongly suggest that you build a solid understanding for at least the topics that I mentioned, or at least that you think are basic in organic chemistry for your biotechnology career. The third chemistry subject that we have is biochemistry. Biochemistry explores the chemical processes and compounds that occur within living organisms. This subject covers topics like proteins, enzymes, carbohydrates, and other macromolecules and their properties or their part in metabolism and cellular processes, which is one of the key points in biotechnology. And you as biotechnologists, at least during your studies, will have to counter these topics many times over. The fourth chemistry subject that we have is analytical chemistry which teaches us how to analyze and characterize chemical compounds using various techniques. And some basic example of these techniques you may already know from your high school are spectroscopy, chromatography, and other analytical methods. These skills are essential for biotechnologists to analyze and quantify biological samples, which is also a key point for biotechnological products before they're ready to be brought into the biotech market. So it is very important to develop analytical skills as biotechnologists. Basic topics for analytical chemistry track back to organic and inorganic molecular characteristics. And the principles of analytical processes where you learn the characteristics of molecules and then with the help of analytical processes which I just mentioned, you will be able to analyze and characterize your biotechnological products. On number five, we have the physical chemistry which combines the principles of physics and chemistry 
to study the physical properties and behavior of chemical systems. Topics like thermodynamics, chemical kinetics, electrochemistry are always a part of physical chemistry, at least in biotechnology. And it is safe to say that for biotechnologists, most of physical chemistry part consists of thermodynamics. So if you want to invest some time in physical chemistry or you want to improve your physical chemistry, I would suggest you do it by investing more time in thermodynamics. There are some other chemistry topics or subjects and some optional modules sometimes within your biotechnology course like industrial chemistry, physical biochemistry, etc. that you can expect to encounter in biotechnology bachelor's degree program. The specific curriculum may vary depending on your university, so it's always a good idea to check the course catalog or the syllabus for institutions that you're interested in to get more detailed understanding. The bottom line is that these chemistry modules will always be encountered and it is a very good idea to develop a basic understanding for these subjects and topics. That's been it for this video. Let me know in the comments section if your degree program also has these modules and topics that I just mentioned. And if it's different, then how is it different than the topics that I just mentioned in this video? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will catch you guys in the next video.